So we got them back again. They're going to install siding on the barn using the same ag panels they used for the roof. They did the roof late last year. Now it's time to put the new siding on. Okay, we've had all the uh, metal delivered and the trim. The white is the trim. The red over there is the field. And that's going to cover all of the wooden parts of the barn rather than trying to replace half the wood and repair it and paint it. Uh, we're just going to put sheet metal over it and that's going to look really, really good. So right now what they're doing is they're, they're just taking that trim off. It's about half of it's rotten. They'll put some one befores up there and that's what they'll uh, nail the field to. We've got one rotted area up here we're going to have to replace yeah, before we put the metal on it. So that's uh, going to be replaced with the OSB. And the There'll be a 16 by 16 working platform out here that those double doors will open onto. That is a bright red, but it's going to look good when we uh, when it gets all done. They've gotten started now. The first thing they've done is install the 1x4s uh, on the front and the left side. Then they've installed the white trim at the bottom along the left side. And now they're installing the red field along the left side. They've trimmed the windows out so that the field will butt up next to them. They decided to wait till I got back to get my idea on what to do around the electric meter box and the weatherhead pipe. And uh, so they went back around the other side and framed, trimmed out the windows. See there in the shade, it uh, doesn't look quite as bright as it does in the sunshine. You can see the difference in color between the old barn red and the new red on the panels. We couldn't match them any closer with the color choices we had from the manufacturer. Well, they finished up uh, the north side of the barn last night, uh, except for a little bit of the trim. It looks pretty good, but you can see the difference. Uh, of course, the sun's shining on the front of the barn, and it's faded real bad, and that's why it's faded, because the sun's shining on it. You can uh, get an idea of how the uh, edges have been trimmed out. And up at the top, uh, you can see the drip edge up there. See what that drip edge looks like. And that's going to keep the water off the window. You can see that white band above the uh, door that goes across the front of the barn. That's much wider than we had before. When this building's done, uh, it's going to look good. I have one issue though that kind of bothers me and I'd really like to get some help from you guys on how to handle it. When you pull in from the driveway and look at the front of the barn, that uh, big red expanse to the right of the front door really looks kind of stark. And I'm not exactly sure what to uh, do to doll it up. Uh, it would be nice to have a window there, but unfortunately that's where the stairs are. I don't know what to do there. That little bitty sign that's on the door is not going to uh, work very well there. And I don't want to put a big sign there. Give me some ideas on what to do to doll that up. It really looks bare. Well, this is the back side of the barn. Out of those double doors, we're going to put a 16 by 16 foot uh, deck. That'll be our working space for garden activities, farm activities. And those double doors are hung by two seven foot long piano hinges, believe it or not. And there, those hinges are brass, and they're still in pretty good shape and actually work. I was going to put some strap hinges on there, but I don't think there's a need to do that. Uh, as you can see, some of the wood on the door was rotted out pretty badly, and they've removed it. And, of course, those three windows up there at the top are really going to be a, a problem to trim those guys out. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done out here on this side. And it's probably going to take uh, a day and a half to do this side alone. This will give you a little bit better idea of the damage to the door. And I think we're going to wind up having to replace that. And the big red barn is um, complete except for some caulking. I've got to do some trim on the back doors here. But the doors are in and they work fine. 
So the red barn with the green roof has become a landmark in the community. As always, thanks for watching the Itsy Farm Channel. If you'd like to watch more how-tos, more product reviews, and how to build a commercial grade hoop house, please subscribe.